Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is one of one, but you can call me seven. And today we're gonna to be playing some more Amori. I have been away from this game for a couple of months, but I'm really excited to pick it back up again. Um, I know this story is a lot, and I'm just really excited to get back into another RPG because it's been a while since I've been able to just dive into one of these. So yeah, let's get back to playing in the park, because I think is what we were doing. So we have Amori, Aubrey, Kel, Hero, Basil, and Mari. Yeah. Let's explore the park a little bit. No boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. Okay. I have RPG brain. I gotta see everything. Mikal, I'm going to swing to the moon. Good for you, buddy. Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Oh. Nose looks occupied. I won't bother Nose. Having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends have fun is enough for me. Oh, you remind me of Ishigami from Kaguya-sama Love is War. <laughs> oh. And a hop, and a hop, and a hop. Happy's playing hopscotch. Oh. I, uh, I won't do that again for your guys' sake. No yelling here on this channel. There definitely will be, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Hello, friends. Hi, Charlene. Building blocks. Eternal. Eternal banana. Monkey. Tonight's a perfect night for stargazing. Ren and Sean. The grass sure feels nice here. Wanna join us some more? Okay. Wow. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Amori learned Observe. Oh, wow. I learned a whole new skill. Uh, I mean, I already did, so that's okay. Hello. Sorry, please don't step around here. I'm picking flowers for someone special. Oh, okay, sorry. What's up, dude? I like puzzles. A very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. Actually, I don't know if that would be that hard. Peekaboo! Hi, Joker Jash. Bye, Joker Jash. More eggs. Eternal banana. A suspicious blue mailbox. Is that everything to examine? My RPG brain is going crazy. I need to discover all the secrets. Burley talks so fast when she's excited. It gets really hard to keep up. All right, well, it looks like you have a quest. I mean, just like Aubrey did in the very beginning. So let's see. Hey, Amori, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Feels ominous, but oh. Oh. Uh, hey, wait just one second. Where do y'all think you're going? I was just gonna run around. You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. Oh, I didn't see this, but you have candy on your back, fan. You want to play hide and seek again? But, you know how this turned out last time. Y yeah Sorry, Burly. I think we're going to have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now. So, we'll catch up with you later. Not so fast. You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as Boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. What did Boss do last time? I wonder what that Morn is up to now. Hey, don't be mean. Eh, good riddance. So, you want to play hide and seek, Basil? I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? Oh, Burly's looking to me for help. Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? I I do, Burly. <laughs> That's what I thought. 
What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. Oh boy, they've got a whistle. Tin hut. All right, maggots, here's the rule. Eggs, flight recruits. I'm sorry, that is a Six Flags joke. If you don't know what Six Flags is, I let just, ign okay, ignore that. I'm sorry. All right, maggots, here's the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. Here in my hands, I got some straws, see? Everyone here's gotta pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw is gonna be it, and we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? Time to get everyone's straws. Lots of kids in the park. Oh, but Mari's not participating. We all got our straws? Good. Now, let's see who's gonna be it. Who is it? Who's got the shortest straw? Well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest straw is Amori. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, Kel's voice. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's not a man. Oh, wait. Amori is it? But Amori doesn't like to be alone. Are you going to be okay, Amori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind. Really? Hey, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies. It ain't so bad. Amori will be fine. Yeah, guys, I'll be fine. I'm just monochrome. When you're ready to play, walk up to the tetherball pole and close your eyes. And no peeking, or else. Okay. I guess it's time to play hide and seek. I know you'll be okay. You can do this. I believe in you. You got this in the bag, buddy. Oh man, all the bros, all the bros got my back. Nose goes, hi nose. I wonder where me and nose should hide. Uh, I don't know where to hide. I'm not creative at all. Ah. <laughs> Yay, it's time to play. Happy's me. I'm happy. Oh. I feel sleepy. I'll try my best. Okay, Charlene, I believe in you. Can I even hide anywhere around here? You are a wide fellow, Van. Just examine the pole when you want to start. Okay, Burly. I won't be a baby. Should I go talk to... Oh, okay, I can't talk to Mari. Alright. Time to find everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Okay, I gotta find everyone. Amori! Oh, I, 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 you're obvious. I wasn't gonna go find you, but <laughs> that's really nice. Hi, Kel. Whoa, you found me! Now I can help you find everyone. Just don't tell Burly about this, got it? <laughs> everyone seems to be good friends. To Amori, anyway. Hi, Amori. I see everyone decided to stay a bit to play hide and seek. If you're having a hard time, I can lend you a hand. Big Sister is always here for you. <laughs> Very cute. So, would you like some help? No, it's okay, Mari. I got this. Oh! Nose goes! Shh! If you're too loud, they'll hear us. Nose goes! Fun goes! Ah, be quiet, Nose. We're hiding, remember? Aha! We found you, Bun and Nose! Nose, they found us. Nose goes. Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. This game is exceedingly cute, which makes me more and more scared for what's coming. I don't know what's coming, but I'm just worried. Turns out, there's not many places to hide here for a guy my size. But this was so fun. As long as Burley's happy, I'm happy. Oh, Hello. Boing, it's me, Happy! You found me! So that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know! I'm gonna count the alphabet ac backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, O, M, um... Wait. Wait. That, uh, you're missing some letters there, Happy. Oh. Oh, is, Hap is the Jax dude there? Yeah, Joker Jash is there. Okay. Darn, you found me. Guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now? She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. 
This poor guy. Ooh, a yo-yo. Oh, uh, guess so. Whisper, whisper. You probably shouldn't disturb this. Oh! Oh, she's... Oh, she's she's giving Neb the fl Oh, she's picking flowers. Okay. A suspicious blue mailbox. It's suspicious, right? Let me in. Okay. Charlene. Uh... Oh, sorry, Charlene. We're not playing, we're exercising. Okay, Sean and Ren, good for you. Everybody down here. Building blocks. Oh! I, yeah, I won't do it. No, I won't. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I won't. I won't do it. I apologize. Gotcha, brows. Hey, dude. Huh? Where am I? I was dreaming that I was on a private beach with servants fanning me with palm tree leaves on every side, which suddenly, wham! And now here I am! I must have fallen asleep while hiding. I guess that's game over for me. What a dream for a kid. Oh! Aw, you found me! Darn! <laughs> Let's go find everyone else together, Amori! Okay, well we got Aubrey. And Mari is here. We need to find Hiro. And we need to find... Basil. Oh, hey guys, uh, you know, I found a really good hiding spot, but Sean and Ren invited me to join them in their exercise routine. It's fun and good for you. You guys should really try this, this really workout. Oh man, I'm so tired. Wow, you really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Come on, Hero, we gotta help Amori find everyone else. All right, all right. Uh, I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun. Yeah, let's do this again sometime. See you later, hero. Okay. All I gotta do, I think... I think I have everyone else here. I have to find Basil and... Oh. There's a straw on the ground. Pull it out? Yes. Dedication, man. Took you guys long enough. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, eh? It looks like you pretty much found everyone else too. Unexpected, but I like it. Let's do a final roll call. Oh wait, what about Basil? Where's Basil? Van. Here as always, buddy. Darlene. H here. Mikal! And he's sleeping. Oh! Uh, hey! You can't hit him! Ow! What gives? Happy! Here, here! Browse! Huh? Oh, and there he goes. Bangs! Here. Bun! Bun is here! Nose! Nose goes! Hero! Resent. Oh, what? Present. Kel! Oh, I do this every time, really. Stop hitting people! Hey, that was a cold for- Oh my gosh. No wonder no one wants to play hide and seek. Aubrey! Here I am! Huh? Where's Basil? That's strange. I thought I saw him go hiding near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil, you can come out now. You already won. Hello, Basil. Where is he? Oh. Hey, there's Basil. Basil, are you okay? Are... Are you stuck? Oh. 
<laughs> Boss, I should have known it was you. You good for nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil is our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek. I'm the one who showed you all how to play in the first place. All right, buddy, it's not that hard. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? Bro. You're not supposed to body slam and hide and seek. Oh no, Basil lo <gasps> My flower crown! Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil! How could you? Let go of him, you bully! No! If I can't play with everyone, then no one can! This guy sucks. He's a meanie. This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited! Oh! Oh, it's a whole fight, huh? Oh, there's a whole, like, combat system. Alright, guys, is this, like... Is this, like, Undertale? Because I know that... I, I'm pretty sure that this game has multiple endings. Is this, like, Undertale, where, like, you shouldn't fight things, and there's a pacifist ending, and there's, like, a, you know, you can get a really good ending or a really bad ending, depending on your actions? Because I already care about these kids, and I don't want bad things to happen to them. So I don't know if I should fight. But he's being a bully, and he's got Basil. What do I do? Um... Can I run? I guess I can. Okay, so I have to fight. Predicts who a foe will target next turn. Inflicts sad on a friend or foe. No toys. No snacks. Okay. Guess with Amori, I'll observe and see who he's going to attack. Aubrey is going to... Pep talk. X first, reducing damage taken for one turn. Okay, so I'm going to pep talk. I'll pep talk. I'll pep talk Amori. What will Pell do? He can annoy or act first. I won't have you do that. I'll have you attack boss. And then you heals a friend for 75% of their heart. Can be used outside of battle. Cost 10. I'll have you attack as well. Hell attacks boss. Boss takes 14 damage. You can do it! Amori feels happy. Oh. I don't like how forced that smile looks. Has their eyes on Kel. Okay. Oh, I don't like how Amori... I don't know, the smile looks a little forced, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well let's keep fighting. I guess it's a it's a playground brawl. Little I guess I'll make Hero happy as well. Fight him. And then you are going to guard. Amori attacks boss, boss takes 20 dip. Did I use the knife? Did I use the sharp knife that I picked up? That sounded like a blade. Okay. You weaklings, you call that an attack? Oh, I wanted Kel to guard. Oops. Oh, okay, boss's attack whiffed. Oh, thank god. Okay. Maybe I really shouldn't be using the knife. That feels like a bad idea. Hey, that kind of hurt. <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. I wonder if these, like, statuses mean different things. Like, angry means you deal more damage, but take less, and happy means... I don't know. Oh, this is very violent for children. Grr, now you've made me angry. It's time for my special move. Body slam! Oh! 
Akira became toast. Aubrey became toast. They're all becoming toast. Aubrey's toast with a bow. And, uh, it was a dull attack. Omori did not succumb. Oh, there was so much to read there. Oops, sorry guys. Huh? How are you still moving? Boss cracks his knuckles. Can I run now? I guess we'll just attack. It hit right in the heart. It was a moving attack. 651 damage. And Amori's party was victorious. 32 EXP and 22 clams. Wow. This isn't fair! Rematch! I want a rematch! Basil, are you hurt? Ah, uh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Hmm. I know that. Oh, man. Yeah, take down the poster. He just want I mean, he's doing it in a super bad way, and he's much bigger than all the other kids, but he's acting out because everyone is excluding him, and that's not okay. There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Amori held on during that final attack, or else we would have all been toast. It's okay. I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Oh. Oh, he's embarrassed. That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. Oh. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. And he's a tree. Cool. But at least he's allowed in the park again. He probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds good to me. Oops, sorry, didn't use Basil's voice. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? That was resolved well. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Aww. Alright, let's see. Where's the menu? Right. Mori has some XP. And we have clams? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh boy. So you got heart, juice, I don't know why juice is a stat, attack, defense, speed, luck, and hit. And Amori is wielding a knife, a shiny new knife, and you can see a reflection in the blade. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this up. I'm scared. Oh gosh. No charm, okay. Aubrey has a stuffed toy. Mr. Plant Egg makes a weird noise when you punch it. Okay. So, you have 10 attack, and Amori has... Oops! Amori has also 10 attack. Kel has 7 attack. Got lots of parties, a bit of a tank. Rubber ball, playground tested, child approved. And he's got a charm. Hector can talk, but is very shy. He's a good friend. Pet rock. And hero. Uses a spatula. Good for flipping burgers. I could go for a burger right now. Oh, yeah, let's have a picnic with everyone. Flower crowns. Oh, everyone's got flower crowns. Well, Hero and Kel are trying their best. But Aubrey's got one, Basil's got one, Mari's got one, I've got one. Rather, Omori got, has, has one. Very cute. Okay. Hey, Amori. How are y'all doing? Just the other day, Nose was telling me about a cute little leaf she met. But when she tried to be its friend, all it wanted to talk about was how much it hated bunnies. How could someone hate bunnies? I just don't understand some people. Okay, well, I guess it's time to save. There we go. Alrighty. 
Let's keep going. Okay, so Neb, you talk to... Oh, Daisy. But he's only interested in puzzles. If only I could find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe then he would notice me. Okay, Daisy. I'll find you a flower puzzle. Yes, yeah, so we did gaze at the stars already. Let's go see if we can't find a flower puzzle. Oh. Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Oh, God, he's scary. It's not what you wanted. Inflicts anger on a friend or foe. Jax deals small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. Apparently better than orange juice. Heals 25 juice. That's correct. Um, orange juice, bad. Apple juice, good. And candy, a child's favorite food. Sweet. I don't think I need to buy anything just yet. Oh, sorry. I guess it's time to go to Basil's house. Let's do that. Train station, Pinwheel Forest, Basil's house. Let's go see the train station. Oh, okay. Sorry, Basil. We will go to your house, and by that I mean we will go check this out. A transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. Okay, okay. RPG brain wants me to go to any other place other than the objective, but here we are. A watering can. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Oh. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Oh. Whoa. What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they are lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that! You're stomping all over the flowers! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's gonna attack us! Ah, it looks like this Sprout Mole is angry! And I'm bopping! Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since this Sprout Mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori, let's do this. No running. Okay. Oh, we got it. 22 XP and three clams for everyone. And Amori's level two. I don't know if leveling up is a good thing. I don't know if anything is a good thing in this game, guys. I'm scared. I'm worried. I, like... I don't know what to expect. I don't know, like, what the... I just... I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm scared. I want to, like, do this right. Uh, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Amori, now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. I guess monsters and enemies are, like, just fighting? I guess? I don't know. I can't tell if this is, like, a meta game mechanics thing, or if this is a fact of the world. I can't tell, and I want to know what the difference is. Hero gave you the faux facts journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Well, that felt very mechanic-y, but okay. Important faux facts. Keeping track of foes. Lost Sprout Mole. Is boss in here? Something tells me. Oh, oh, he is. A little rough around the edges. Can be a foe. Or a friend. Amori's entry. That's a lot of enemies. A dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. Oh. That's kind of mean. Let's see here. These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. 
Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses, because he's versatile and universally loved. This game is really sweet. I'm scared. These are a type of flower called the gladiolus. The gladio what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Yep, that's exactly what he's saying. Good job, Kel. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Oh, another sprout mole. Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all of the flowers. And here he comes. Another fight. Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. Okay, so we're in tutorial mode. I understand. There it goes. Nice. Hmm, we seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. Oh, angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. Hmm, I don't know how to feel about that. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. An emotion chart. Yeah, I'll look at it now. Oh wow, that's really helpful. So... Whoa, okay, so happy, strong against weak, which is strong, or rather, strong against angry, which is strong against sad, which is strong against happy. So it's a little fire emblem triangle with the same colors, nice. So, increased luck and speed and lowered hit rate, increased attack, lowered defense, Increased defense, lowered speed, some damage to heart makes juice. So if you take, so being sad, you should be sad when you take damage. Feels weird to say, but okay. okay let's go this way. Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a... Aubrey, young lady, you are children. Well, I can only assume you're children. I actually don't know how old you are, but... What the heck? That's mean. Hey. Well, that too. But mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is... That even you t could take care of a cactus cow. <laughs> Whoa, neat! Cacti are awesome! Head empty. My man. Ah, uh, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like a mori. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Oh, and another one. Ah, not another sprout mole! It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. Is it sad? Hmm, this sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. Oh. Eesh. Okay, we did it. And everyone else is level two, I think. And learned massage. Wow. Suspicious. 
I'm suspicious and a little scared. But okay. Hi everyone, you all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already all set up, and I even brought some fruit. How'd you get here, Mari? How'd you get here so fast? How'd you set everything up? How'd you... I uh, delicious fruits. Yeah, let's eat some. Yummy, yummy. Heal all our health and juice. Feel like new. Munch, 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 munch. Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Oh, Mari. I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly graceful. Cute. Don't you think so, Amori? Yes. Aw, I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Oh, wow. I don't know. I'm just, I'm suspicious. But anyway, I think that this is a good place to save. In the vast forest, level two. Okay. All right, well, I think that's all the time that we have for today, guys, for Amori. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm starting to get into it. I'm getting increasingly worried about what may or may not happen because I'm trying to figure out what kind of RPG this is. If you guys liked it, definitely let me know. I for sure like it, so I'm going to be playing more of it anyway. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!